Hi everyone, welcome back to Joe for Jelly Beans. If you're new here, my name is Joy, and usually my two identical twin boys are somewhere around me too, but they're napping at the moment. So I haven't done a sit down video in so long, so I thought I'll sit down and do a cool haul for you guys. So she did a, like a little poll on Instagram, and lots of you said you want to see it, so here we go. Um, so this is going to be an op shop haul. I think in America you call this like a Goodwill store or something. In New Zealand we call it an op shop, um, and pretty much all of our op shops I think are charity based so our local we've got I think five local op shops but the one that we go to pretty much every Saturday is a hospice shop which means um, it's completely non-for-profit everyone who works there is a volunteer and all of the proceeds go to hospice which I think is really nice um, yeah so recently maybe like the last two months we started to go to our local market um, every Saturday morning and then there's that op shop right there so we started going there and we found some incredible stuff like I still can't believe the amazing things we found there so that's what I thought I'll show you guys today. So we literally just got back from there this morning um, and today was probably the biggest shopping session we've ever done there which was amazing and it was so funny because we already had picked out so many things and then I said to my husband I think they're moving they're probably going to do like a sale soon as well. And then we turned around and it's like this massive sign which we just hadn't seen before, 50% sales. So we're like, yes, that's awesome. So all of this was 50% off. Let's start. I got um, this really cool glass container. It's got like a screw lid and it's got, um, and it's airtight, which is amazing. Because I started to put more of our like groceries into glass containers. Um, you know, like rice and pasta and I don't know, legumes, that kind of stuff. I got more of these. Um, so this was $3, so $1.50. This one for a dollar, and it's like super airtight, which is amazing. Can you hear that? Oh. <laughs> um, I picked up another one of those. I don't know where it went, but yeah, two of those. Then my husband picked up this cute little wooden sign. I think he wants to have it for um, the garage. He's got like a little workbench there. It's really cool, and it was 50 cents. Um, then I picked up this really cool oversized jumper, just like a knit jumper, it says LA at the front and this is like a navy lace kind of thing so it was just cool um, for when it gets a bit colder, this is size L so way oversized and four dollars. Let me know if you think this is quite expensive, New Zealand is a bit expensive in general, not in all, all areas but definitely more expensive than Europe or America so keep that in mind. But definitely let me know if you think like the offshore prices are more expensive than wherever you are. Okay, then I picked up this, which is an H&M cardigan. So cute, it looks brand new, nothing was it, same as the other jumper. Really adorable, and I might even give this to my mum if she wants it. And this was $1. six, so we paid $3. And then I also picked up this basket, just a plain old storage basket, I thought it was really also, I'm going to do like some organizational stuff under the kitchen sink, so that'd be perfect for that. And that was 50 cents. Um, then we also picked up these. How cool are these? I could not believe it. And um, my husband actually found them. They are incredible. We love smoothies. We're doing smoothies all the time. Um, and I was actually looking for more of these like glass containers because the ones where you had broke. Um, and oh, I just think they're amazing. It's four of them and there are four of us in our family So I think it's so cool. Obviously you have to be a bit careful with the boys, but I think they can definitely hold it I just have to be careful they don't drop it. I'm so in love with these. They were $12. So 50% off $6 I'm gonna have to find a cool spot for them in the kitchen. Aren't they so cool? And then this one is another uh, probably one of my favorite finds ever from an op shop. I've been looking for a nice tray for ages because I like keeping things on a tray. I want to have a tray for my essential oils and just a couple more things. I think once you keep things on a tray. But believe it or not, trays are surprisingly hard to find. So this one is so cool. It's like cement, I'm guessing. I love the like print on it and this is what it looks like on the back. It's so cool. It's got a couple of, I was gonna say it's got a couple of chips but I don't think it does. I think it's just like how they poured it, if you can see that there, yeah. So yeah, a concrete kind of tray. I just think it's amazing. It looks so cheap, and that was $1.50, can you believe it? So cool, I'm so happy with this. I'm gonna have to find a really nice spot for it. Okay, I think that was all that we picked up today. 
which was quite a lot. And then I'm gonna just grab whatever's next to me. So this one we picked up from a different op shop that is um, close to us as well. And we were just browsing through there and couldn't really find anything. And um, we didn't really need anything, but we had a bit of a car ride in front of us. So I picked up these cute books for the babies. Um, five little monkeys, and then you can put like your finger through there. And I've got the finger puppet and Old McDonald had a farm and they were a dollar, so 50 cents each. Okay, and then I've got this big old bag here full of stuff. Can you believe it? Okay, let's start. This one, um, one of my favorite tops at the moment. I found it a couple of weeks ago and it was kind of like the first time I found really nice clothes at an op shop and obviously I have since found a lot more, which still kind of blows my mind. Like I haven't, I used to, we used to go op shopping a little bit, but not really. And now I can't believe it. We haven't done this so much sooner because, you know, obviously saves you a ton of money. Um, but it's good for the environment and for our planet because, you know, you recycle clothes and items that someone else doesn't need anymore. And then it goes to charity. I don't know. I just think the whole thing it just makes perfect sense to me. So anyway, this is a country road top. If you're from New Zealand, you definitely know that brand. Just like really loose. Um very airy which is perfect for summer oversized for me it's a size l but i love it i sort of tuck it into my shorts and it's the perfect mum uniform <laughs> i absolutely love it it's like really great material and i believe i paid six dollars for this um what else we oh this one i found last week and it's a dress um it's got a zip at the back where is this from actually River Island. This is from River Island and it was reduced from $10 to $5. Really nice like flowy sort of material. Um, I probably won't even wear this during summer because it's got like three quarter sleeve length arms. But um, during winter my mum uniform is black tights and then just long tops um, on top. And I always find it quite hard to find tops that are long enough but not too long. So I think this is going to be perfect with black tights and my boots for winter so i'm really excited for that okay then my husband found a nice shirt um last time this is from helen steins just a very simple um blue striped shirt this was six dollars wears shirts for work and he actually has found a few shirts um in the op shops which i think is great it up this ikea organizer you hang it you know i think you're supposed to hang it in the wardrobe which is great and it's got all these like storage compartments <laughs> yay so i'm gonna hang this in the boys wardrobe because we've got lots of like blankets and you know swaddles that kind of stuff that which we still use not for swaddling but for other things um i don't know millions of socks and lots of clothes for that we either have to sell or you know next size up so we just need lots of storage and they only have like rails in the water up to hang things and not a lot of shelving we do have two dresses but it's never really enough actually i'll leave the nursery tour somewhere up here and link down below if you want to check out the boys room so this is going to go in there um oh yeah my husband also picked up a cap last time i think this is amazing i don't know how much he paid i think like three bucks or something he's in love with cabs he's obsessed and this is a really nice one with like the leather front here um oh these ones i've had for a while but i really wanted to show you because again i just think it was such an awesome op shop find my pineapples <laughs> if you've been to my house before you know i'm obsessed with pineapples i love them um i think they're just such cute decorations so these ones are genuine rain tree something i can't read <laughs> handcrafted by and it says a name a really long name Mohammed Ali van der Ukraft something like that in Fiji <laughs> so it tells you that it's handcrafted it tells you the name that is so cool so yeah um these ones are my like little pineapple boards and usually they're downstairs and we keep fruit in them and I paid a dollar for both of them so cool and then we picked up more ice cube trays because you can never have enough and I actually saw this on this little trick on Sarah Lemkes' channel, I'll link it down below. Um, she juiced kale and um, froze it. So in the smoothies, she just had to put the kale ice cubes in because kale is kind of hard to mix in smoothies. So 
that's why I picked this ice cube tray for to do the same because I think it's an awesome idea. And the boys don't really like chunky smoothies, so juicing kale and spinach is probably going to be a good idea. And then I picked up this um, DIY nut milk filter bag. These ones are usually really expensive. It's from nuts.co.nz. Um, and so hopefully in the future we can make our own almond milk, which would be amazing. And it was only $3 and it's brand new. Okay, the next item was something for Hendrik as well. And it wasn't actually from an op shop. It's like by the markets in the little community hall. They've got some stalls. So I bet you they have like handmade soaps or like hand knitted things. Or I don't know, just things that people make themselves. And also second hand stuff. But I don't think this would be like from this guy's home. I probably he's like found it somewhere. Like collector items that people sell on. So this is where this is from. So kind of op shop. Um, Hendrik picked it up for his birthday, like a birthday gift to himself because he was really into his whiskies. Um, and it's really, really nice to get. I love this. Like, I don't know, I just hopefully we'll have a bar card eventually and it's just got like so pretty on there. So yeah, really excited for this and this was $15. And then we also picked up this glass, um, not at the same time actually, but I think it just goes really well together and this was only 50 cents, can you believe it? so pretty now to what you probably have been waiting for boys clothes so these are not from the op shop i found it really hard to find um clothes for the babies or anything for the babies in the op shop so they throw it all the tub in and it's really hard to sort through and um lots of it will have holes and i don't know i don't know why they accept such bad condition clothes but i don't know i've never found anything for the boys in the op shop which is a shame um and also i still dress them alike it just makes my life a lot easier so it's really hard to find anything in an op shop like two of something in an op shop what i do like doing though is go and treat me um which is our new zealand buy and sell page so kind of like ebay but a lot 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 smaller so it actually works really great you know because it's not as blown up as ebay is and we don't have millions of shops selling on there it's really mostly um people selling secondhand stuff and also facebook groups i've been finding really helpful so i'm in a couple of like new zealand trends pre-loved that kind of thing facebook groups um so that seems to be working quite well as well um yeah it's still really hard to find two of the same i have to say really really hard actually but yeah i'm always really happy if i do find secondhand clothes that i can use for the boys so having said that um everything i'm going to show you is either from trade me or from like a facebook page kind of thing so first ones i was so stoked about these uh these adorable cute little windbreakers slash rain jackets they are so adorable so they're from pumpkin patch size 12 to 18 months um, they've got the mesh inside and yeah just like adorable little windbreakers they're in amazing condition so in New Zealand it gets quite windy and rainy in spring and autumn and obviously in winter <laughs> these are going to be too cold for winter but these are going to be amazing for autumn um, for our little wet season so I'm so stoked for these I don't quite remember how much I paid I believe I paid $25 for both so which is quite good obviously you know um, if you buy and trade me on Facebook it's a lot more expensive than off shops but it's fine they're amazing condition I'm really really happy we've got those and I can't wait to see the boys in them okay next thing was a bundle so I think all of these came together I don't know it was all from the same person I don't quite remember what came in which bundle I bought two bundles of off trade me so it's all from the same little boy I'm guessing um and I would have I would say I probably paid 50 or 60 dollars for it all together so First thing is this adorable little jumper, a little knit jumper. I love knit jumpers for the babies. They are so cute. So this one is from H&M. I love H&M baby clothes. It's um, 92, uh, a year and a half to two years. So cute. I do hope they fit into this in winter. Otherwise, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully they will fit into this winter. So, so cute. Um, and then this one, and I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think this is like matching enough? Just two sort of knit sweaters? I don't know, maybe I'll find another one of these. But anyway, I thought, I kind of had this in mind that maybe that was matching enough. So the other one is a knit sweater too, but it's striped and same size. Um, then, I'm not too keen on these, but you know, it's like a bundle deal. We'll see, I'll definitely keep them. Just two long sleeve um, shirts. This one says I'm a monster. Um, it's H&M too, and same size. And then this one 
as a Batman shirt. Yeah, so I'm not too keen on these, but I don't know, maybe they like kind of come in handy. I feel like it's always so different as the boys grow, how much clothes we need and what the clothes need to endure. So at the moment, they've got food stains on every single piece of their clothes, which is just driving me nuts. Um, so yeah, we need lots of clothes at the moment and I'm quite happy to have some, yeah, not so good clothes because we just go through so much with their food being everywhere. So yeah, anyway. This is that, um, and these are so cute, from H&M to cardigans. So adorable, look at it, it's like a little striped cardigan and it's got an elbow patch. Oh, I'm in love, so cute. And then matching with that is this one, a little blue striped cardigan and it's got like suspenders on it. So adorable and it's got a grey elbow patch. So yeah, I'm really excited. Winter clothes are so cute for babies. Um, and then the bundle also came with this vest, which I think is actually amazing. This is perfect for New Zealand weather. Um, it's yellow on the inside, which I'm not too keen about, but I do like the blue outside. And this is from Uniqlo, and when I saw this, I jumped straight onto the website to see if I can get a good second one, but I haven't been able to find one. But yeah, maybe I'll find one online, because this would be perfect. And then... <laughs> Last item is one single little jean short, which was two dollars, I believe, off Trade Me as well, um, because we go through shorts so quickly at the moment. So they never really match with shorts at the moment anyway, because one will have like a poo explosion or whatever, be dirty. So I just picked up one because I thought it was really cute and be perfect for the boys at the moment. So that brings us to the end of this. Up shop haul. I really hope you liked it. Let me know what you think if you want me to do more of these kind of hauls. Um, yeah, leave your comments down below. And also, if you've done one, definitely leave me a link down below. I love watching these. So, again, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.